Hi everyone, welcome back to Rocket Guys. Today I'm going to go over some of the amazing trades you guys have sent in so you know which are the best items to trade with right now. Oh, and also there's a chance for you to win 500 credits at the end of the video, so be sure to stick around. Before we get started, if you're ever looking for some discounted Rocket League items and credits for much cheaper than the item shop, head over to RL Exchange. They offer the most reliable place to buy loads of different tradable items like Phoenix, White Dracos and even Alpha Cap. They can deliver items to any platform and you can pay with loads of different payment methods. And with a 5 star Trustpilot rating, they are sure to have any items you could want. Check out RL Exchange from the link in the description and use code GUYS at checkout to get 3% off every purchase. So this first trade is from XD8 and he got a very nice item overpay for a white fennec blueprint. A lot of people stay away from blueprints but ones like this for the white fennec or white zombies or white mainframe and any other fairly expensive popular items are pretty good for trading with. Because a lot of people don't buy these blueprints there are more going around for you to take advantage of. To work out the price to pay just take the blueprint build cost away from from the price people are paying for the actual item. So say people buy the white mainframe on Xbox for 13k, take the 2500 bill cost off that and you have the best price to buy blueprints for. Anyway, XD8's trade is where he sold the white fennec blueprint for two fennec, two non-crate exotics, a streamline and a white fissure boost I'm pretty sure but it's not in English. The blueprint is worth like 1200 credits and all those items he got will sell for at least 2000 so this is a great overpay. To be honest I'm not sure if the guy realised the difference between a normal item and the blueprint or if he just didn't really care about the items he had but either way this is a great trade for xd8 as you can see by his profile he is a trader advisor on our discord server so if you ever want to know how much to pay for an item or if one of your trades is good or anything like that you can ask our trader advisors and they will help we also currently have a white octane giveaway going on over on our discord server which is linked in the description so make sure to join for a chance to win this and loads of other giveaways we host as well as getting some trading and investment tips too. Often the simplest trading methods are the best. Not long ago I discussed how you can get item overpays for credits simply by saying how many credits you have and that you are open to any offers which you can then go through and take or decline. I have another great example from someone called PP Dump you will get used to the weird names when you join our discord who seems to have used this method to buy a few cheap black markets for a really good price on pc he paid 220 credits and i reckon he'll be able to sell them for around 400 in total if he manages to get mid price otherwise it could be 350. with such a small budget that is some great profit and saying you want offers for credits is definitely something you should look into doing the other way round works well too but only usually if you're giving item offers for other items rather than someone's credits this is because anyone who says they have credits and want offers will want to buy stuff for under minimum and if you want to make profit you want to be selling for more than that. But giving multiple items for one bigger item can sometimes make you some good profit but it is more just about speeding things up because it's easier and quicker to sell one item than it is to sell three. A great example from Aero was sent to our discord server and he gave some Dracos, a sunray boost and 220 credits for a sky blue standard. He didn't necessarily make profit off this because I reckon he paid just short of mid price for the standard if you add it up but it'll save him some time and he can always use that sky blue standard to buy a more expensive item and work up from there giving that item one to one with another item that's worth like 50 credits more is often something effective you can do and it's something you should definitely try to do with your cheaper items thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful please consider subscribing with notifications on and if you want to support us use code rlt prices in the item shop for your own mcdonald's restaurant and you can win 500 credits by guessing where this is in the comment section